Yeah, hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about data adapter extract again, and uh, this time we are choosing the topic of pagination. And uh, in this video, we are going to use a pagination using field value. So let's say you have hundred of leads, and you wanted to display uh, in each page five leads and next page in you know, five leads because it's very difficult to see the hundred leads in one go or more than a hundred leads in one go so what are the different steps we need to take we need to use order by uh, uh, value uh, once we will do the extract tab of the data after extract and we will do the limit so limit will be specifying the value that how much you want to do display the uh, field on one of the page so let's go to your org we will create a new data raptor there so this is new data raptor we'll put uh, get leads extract pagination by field value we will put the interface name as extract only input type json output type only json so let's create the data raptor again we'll go for add extract step we will query for our object lead this will be our output path now what we are going to do we are going to take a lead id here and we are querying with the id only right now now this is very important to note here right now this one we have to do here we are going to put a greater than signature all right this we have to note now what we have to do we have to put one order by so order by we will do using the lead id okay and then we have to put a limit limit as i said in my previous talk limit means this set of five record right now we have to do it so we will go back again we will limit a five record so now we'll go to the output output we'll say lead id again how do we want to display here this is getting displayed cc this is the way it's getting displayed this is lead name let's say lead status all right so we are just taking three values status name and id we have done this three things lead id lead id we will take as an input parameter i'll go and in a preview we will go preview has a lead id now what we have to do now i'm just putting some values here that is my one lead record so i'll just execute from here right now just nothing is coming so what i'll do okay and let's execute here okay nothing is coming why is that so hang on okay i did a mistake here order id should be on the field name and where i just put it this as a lead id it should not be the case i should put as a id from here we'll put and we'll execute it here so see i can put some 
default values also so let's say this is my lead id and now it's giving me five lead ids here right now one two three four five now if you wanted to retrieve next set of five record you need to take this as an last id and you need to put this as a lead id here now if you query now next set of record will come see and now again next set of record i need to put like this so we can see like in this way i will reduce the limit just to check it right now and we'll see two set of records are coming i will take this set of after this is the last record id i will do it here now new set of records are coming so every time from your page you have to pass the last record id so that the next set of record can come and if you see here in the right hand side this is the query is getting executed here so in this way we can do the pagination using the field value in the next video i am going to use offset offset as a part of pagination so stay tuned thank you